Coming up on this episode of Hoarders, Lightsaber Edition. How many sabers is too many sabers? Uh, we get to visit Darth Para. Darth, Darth Para. How, how, do you, how do you pronounce it? What? Real, what kind of stupid name is that? Let me guess it. Darth Paradigms. Lightsaber collection is is it out of control? Has he does he have too many? Well, in this episode we explore that, so there's your intro. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I have a lot of unboxings today. I just uh work really oh god. Keys, keys in pocket. Ow. Who is that, man? So, uh, this was the first saber to arrive, therefore it's the first saber I'm going to open. And, uh, so this is a, um, should be an Ultra Sabers Graflex S, uh, CE, Collector's Edition, with a diamond driver. Big old box. Things moving around inside the box. So, again, I don't know, this is not filling me, uh, with a whole lot of confidence. It is filling me with a degree of dread. If anybody remembers, my uh, my last sojourn into trying to acquire a diamond driver was a uh, Prophecy uh, V3 that had some, uh, let's just say, had issues. And I returned that saber and I got my money back. And let's hope this is not more of the same. Because I'm not in the mood to be disappointed. Nor are you, I would imagine. And, uh, all right. So, uh, hey, I just kind of threw it in a box. And they didn't even wrap it. Yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, word to the wise, if, you, uh, if you're if you ever selling a saber and you're shipping it to uh, someone receiving the saber, wrap the thing up in bubble wrap or uh, some kind of packing material. Even if you just fill the box with peanuts or whatever, uh, having it just float around inside the box, it's really, really not good form. Uh, Cause that can lead to damage and uh, scratches and dings and, and things to that effect. Now, I'm done complaining. So um, I'm, I'm not wearing my glasses right now, but um, what I can see, uh, it's a, it, it seems to be in pretty good condition. It looks pristine. Almost new. Uh, for some reason, the... Uh, this is off. So this is already in much better condition than the, uh, the Prophecy V3 Nightmare that I uh, experienced. And... Uh, let's see, so the batteries are in there. And, uh, well, it does indeed have a, what I, well, I'm assuming is a diamond driver. From what I've seen in the videos I've watched. Now, are the batteries charged? The blade's already in there, which is nice. I had a blade retention screw. I was expecting them to be both wrapped separately. That's the other thing. If you're shipping a Sabre, please don't ship it with the blade inserted. That's just... Anyway. Bitch, bitch, bitch. So, yeah, it looks in very decent condition. This is the CE Collector's Edition with the uh, nickel plating. So far, uh, I'm impressed. And uh, it doesn't have a you know, backlit switch. Uh, one thing I am going to do, oh yeah, that's right, I need to, it uses a different size for the um, blade retention screw. So I'm going to have to learn, um, I'm going to have to learn about the uh, diamond driver, assuming this works. I've been watching Darth Cephalus's videos, and uh, so that's kind of got me a little bit prepared. So let's see if this turns on. And it does not. So I will recharge those batteries and see if this works. And uh, what else do I have here? I have a little goodie package. What do we have? That's uh, the charger. So um, hooray, charger. The next star variety, I would assume. Can never have too many chargers. All right, so there you go. That's my unboxing. There is my Ultra Savers Graphlex Collector's Edition Nickel Plated Diamond Driver um, Saber. And uh, 
I think. I'm not sure if it's a 36 inch blade. He said he was going to send a 36 inch blade. But I had asked if he maybe had a 32. This might be a 32 now that I think about it. In which case, that's that's pretty cool. Wow. So um, now I have two Graflex. And uh, the other one that I have is uh, has an emerald driver and no sound. So, um, yeah, this, this looks like it's pretty pristine. So I'm gonna, I got, I got some batteries then they're already charged. I should have had them here to, to test this out. Anyway, so, um, that's unboxing, uh, number one for the day. If, uh, all goes well, I'll have three more. Yes, three, count them, three more. Plus my, um, my Ultimate Works, um, what's it called, RSV, my, uh, my Revan Saber, that already shipped. So, um. That's, that's really cool. Uh, I uh, I think buying direct from Ultimate Works is the way to go. Uh, their their customer service seemed pretty good. I, I don't think we uh, I don't think I need to deal with a middleman anymore. Um, sorry, Patch Store. I like I like what I what the service I got from Ultimate Works a little bit better. So anyway, um, that's the end of this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, there's more to come very shortly. All right, that's it for today's episode of. Hoarders Lightsaber Edition. Tune in again next time when Darth, the uh, what was that name again? Darth Par Paradigm Par 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 Paradigm what? Par what? Paradigm Darth Paradigm. What a dumb name. Uh, gets uh, more of these damn lightsabers. He's got like just a whole room of these things. It's crazy. It's crazy. He doesn't even know how many he has. People keep asking him, how many do you have, and he doesn't know. Fucking fracking idiot. Burk. Anyway, so uh, hope you enjoy this video and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.